In this video, let's take a look at how to sign up for Figma. I left a link in the description or in the top comment. If you click that link, it'll take you to this landing page and it's really simple to get started and you can actually use Figma for free. So we click this get started for free button up here and all you have to do is either continue with Google, which I love doing because all I have to do is click one button and it signs me right in or you can actually put in an email. So let's try a new email I have, even if it's Gmail or maybe you have a business email and then you can just create some kind of password out here. And once you have that password created, you can agree to join the Figma's mailing list or you can uncheck that if you don't want their marketing emails and then create an account. From there, it's gonna take you through the signup process. So you're gonna to need to open Gmail to make sure that you confirm your email. Once you get into your email account, you should see this email right here from Figma that's verifying the email address that you used. When you click on that, it'll actually take you back to Figma and basically allow you to go through the signup process. You can put in what kind of work you do, how you'll primarily use Figma. You can skip anything that's not required and just hit next. If you have collaborators, you can invite them here, but you don't need to do this. You can click do it later. You can in fact skip through all of this if you would like. And you can choose the professional plan, which gives you unlimited files, unlimited projects, shareable team libraries, and unlimited version history. It's $12 per month per editor. Or you can actually just use this for free. You get unlimited files in drafts, which is kind of like just a folder of all of your files. You can't really organize them. And then inside of each project, you get three pages or three design files inside of each project. And then you can also use FigJam, which is like a whiteboard tool. And you can start for free. Now you can whiteboard or you can design with Figma. We'll get uh, designing with Figma here. And it will take us right to the browser version of Figma. So right away, you can get designing here in Figma completely for free. If you want to download the desktop version, click on this Figma drop down, go to the desktop app, and you'll be able to download the desktop version and log in with your new login. And up here in the upper right, you can see this is our profile up here. You can also go to help and account at the bottom of this drop down on the left hand side. And you can look at your account settings in here. So if you wanted to upgrade your plan, you could view the plans right here. Like I said, Figma Professional. And you can actually get that for free if you're a student or a teacher just by verifying your account. And that's how you can sign up for Figma for free.